Hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another mod review. This is uh, the Starborn Guardian Ship Starfield Black Retexture by X2357. This is a pretty cool mod that basically, as you can see from the picture, it changes the Guardian, Starborn Guardian, to be more spacey. And it, to be honest, just from the pictures, it looks awesome. It kind of fits the aesthetic of like like this. I could see the hunter rocking this sort of ship, which it's it, it's kind of a little kind of sad in, in the base game that like the Guardian, the Starborn Guardian ships don't really have any distinct varieties. I think it'd be kind of cool if they did. And obviously, you know, mods like this uh, alleviate that somewhat. So, yeah, so we're going to try and do some more fancy editing like the last video. Um, I say fancy, I will say. You can probably tell by watching my videos, um, my editing skills are minimal. Uh, that, that, like, last video, um, the one where we were looking at the shipbuilder retextured, it took a lot of effort to do that, which I know, so you're like, really crimp anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a kind of a, we kind of, well, the thing is we know what the Guardian looks like in general, from like the interior, or from the exterior, but we'll do, we'll do some interior shots just to kind of compare so anyway, let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so here we are, and as you can tell, this looks awesome. Very stealth, stealth-like. I feel like with this kind of like like coating, you wouldn't even need. Oh wait, let me press my button. Ah, that button. Thank you, perfect. With the like this coating, you would even need the cloaking. Like this thing would be invisible. I'm not sure, like, how the sensors in Starfield work, but I'm assuming this thing's sensors would be, like, very... Or this, like, thing's emissions would be, like, minimal. I mean, there's probably no... Th well, I mean... Eh. Like, the mechanic is able to, like, fix it. Which makes me think that maybe, maybe the ship itself is actually quite... It's weird, like... When the ship first came out, in general, like, the... You know, when people found it and stuff, like, it was a really cool ship, but then people realized it was kind of meh. And then when they added the kind of, oh, ignore the floating trees. Um, and then when they added, like, a, um, when they added the, um, kind of the decorator, people started to kind of like it a lot more, which makes sense, you know? So we're going to go inside, and if the interior is dark, which I'm assuming it is, I'll do a little overlay, like the last video, just showing the inside of the kind of the inside of a non-modded version well it's yeah but yeah i think that this is a good kind of um this is a good mod for if you want to have like if you want to play into the role of a starborn you know and you want to basically make it so that your character is like unique you know which let me go this is starborn too by the way all the same oh yeah okay the interior is okay Got that same interior on the inside. Door might be hard to find if you're not familiar with the Starborn, but that's perfectly fine. I will say it looks awesome inside. I put it in daytime just because that sheen looks really cool. Looks really, really cool. And I think it, it does a better job of being... Also, I like the difference. So this is like kind of like a mash almost, like a... Maybe not a matte. This is like a like a kind of a satin, whereas this is like a proper like gloss. It looks absolutely amazing. Still has the interior, as you can see out. I'm getting stuck on. Their textures. Uh, no, that's that's on Bethesda. That's not the metal mod author, by the way. Um, typical Bethesda. They're like, oh no, you can't go over there. It's like, thanks for the. Nah, I'm joking. There's probably a reason behind that. Anyway, um, get over the side here. Like, the side-by-side, side, it'll be probably a bit out of it, just because. But I will still include it. We have our usual cargo hold over here with all of my stuff. This little balcony. And then if we head down the other side... We have the... I don't understand what this is. Is this just, like, constantly keep... Do they just keep making this? Or is it like, yeah. 
on the other side. We're gonna we'll take it for a spin. Whoops. Gary's like I ain't standing. You can also you can decorate the ship. Um let's I love the chair, the starborn chair is like, yes, I am starborn. Fear me. Alright, let's take her off. This is just me rambling, but I kind of wish that they put a little bit more kind of FX into the ship itself. As you can see, it's super dark. We've got our weapons, the boost, we go completely invisible. Something I would have really liked. Now, obviously, I don't know how easy it'd be to do this, but um, in in Star Wars, um, what's it called? In ba 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 in. I think it's Star Wars Squadrons, I think it's called. When you're flying the B-Wing, which, like, realistically, this looks very much like a B-Wing. Is it the B-Wing? No, is it the B-Wing? It's, like, the basically the one in Rebels that's, like, designed by the Mon Calamari guy. I think it is the B-Wing. It has, like, it, this profile. But in, in Rebels, you can basically, like, press a... Or in, um, in Rogue Squadron, you can press a button, and you can rotate the fin... And it'd be kind of cool if there was, like, imagine if there was, like, two modes for this. Like, you had, like, a flight mode and a combat mode. Kind of like how, again, this is just completely... The context is there, but it's very minimal. Like, um, for instance, if uh, you remember in Fallout 4, the automatron head you could get. When you pull out your weapon, the, the, the visor comes down. Whereas when you don't pull out your weapon, the, the visor doesn't. I think it'd just be kind of cool. Because, like, this right now, like, this is clearly meant to be, like, combat mode... It looks very much like a kind of a knife edge sort of thing, but it'd be cool if there was like the not combat mode where like the wing would kind of rotate sideways and it would fly kind of more like the, uh, you know, like basically the wing would be completely um, horizontal. Yes, because horizontal means horizon. I'm learning things, people tell me. Yeah, anyway, that's just like completely side rambling. Nothing to do with the mod. The mod itself, this is an awesome mod. Once again, you've done an awesome job and I know that You've got a, quite a few retextured mods, and there's ones that I'm kind of interested in. They're kind of minuscule in, in terms of, like, you know, what they do. Um, there's, like, well, I suppose say minuscule, but there, there's there's um, there's ones where, like, it changes the color of the artifacts, which I really like. I think they're very cool. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think. You guys think that this improves on the Starborn uh, Guardian? I, I personally think it does. I think it makes the Guardian look way more badass. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.